Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Random Pets Genetics Laboratory, where I have returned! Yes, I am back, I am back, and I am ready to settle into the lab and really dive into the genes of so many of the different animals that I hope to do a little bit of crossbreeding with. And yes, a lot of you guys may not have known, but the reason that we have been a little bit quiet in the lab for the last couple weeks is because I was actually away searching out a new home for our leafy green offices of the pixel biology community in North Carolina because yeah I'm moving <laughs> so thank you very much for your patience you guys and thank you very much for your support of all of the adorable squirrely kittens that we had last time uh, it has been a little bit but I have a huge list of animal genetics that we will be using in the future ready to go so if you are one of the many fans of our random pets crossovers or our random pets challenges I should say and our wild animal crossbreeding experiments hang in there because things are about to get even better and I was really excited to come home and finally be able to get back into the laboratory because I had the most adorable idea for what kind of animals I wanted to cross together to celebrate the return. And it all comes down to, as you guys can tell from the title, alliteration. When you have two words that begin with the same letter and then trying to say it like nine times makes you have a little bit of a tongue twister. Like Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Oh, that's actually so hard to say, even though I knew I was going to tell you guys and I practiced. Of course, as soon as you guys are actually here and we are staring at this lovely wolf that we will talk about in a moment. I just was tripping over my tongue anyway. But all right, so let's get to it. The beginning of what will hopefully be many wonderful adventures with our wild wolf and our cute corgi. Look at the little cutie patootie! Look at those little eyes and those little ears! Oh, I love the little chest fluff that they have got. Oh my gosh, I actually saw like two or three corgis while I was on my trip and I got to tell everybody in my family about how if you take a corgi swimming, I hope you guys know this, they are not very good swimmers, so if you are going to take a corgi swimming, then you must make sure that they have their little safety vest. Where's the little safety vest? We cannot begin these experiments without the little, um, there's like a little water, water uniform you can put them in so that they won't drown. I know it's around here somewhere. All right, I swear I have, I, I have the appropriate, here, we'll put a, a little dinosaur outfit on you. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so we have the appropriate outfit. Uh, wait, no, 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 there we go, there we go, ah, there we go. So we do have the appropriate safety gear for our corgi, our cute corgi, before we even begin. Ah, there it is! I knew I had this around here somewhere. All right, there we go. Our little guy is ready for whatever adventures we are going to throw at him today. And it is going to be extremely adventurous today because we are going to take this cute little corgi and he is going to run away from his family just for an afternoon of adventure at the campsite that they have been staying at. And our cute little corgi is going to meet a wild wolf named Willow. So this is Willow, our wild wolf, who is roaming in the mountainside, searching for her afternoon lunch of some sort of small animal, or perhaps even a deer. She can summon the rest of the pack to come hunt with her. And uh, Willow, uh, even though she is very territorial, and she is a hunter, and she is independent, she is uh, also pretty open-minded when it comes to wolves. Oh, and really quickly, this beautiful wolf is actually one that has come from, dun dun dun, Aka Savintori. So if you would like to get this particular wolf, this is the person that you need to find on the gallery. There are so many beautiful wolves out there on the gallery, and I'm sure we will see so many of them in our future crossbreeding efforts, including one by the Klinotron, one of my favorite custom content creators of all time. But I just felt like this was Willow. This is the wild wolf that we are going to crossbreed with our cute, adventurous corgi who's very playful and extremely vocal named Chase. So how's that for alliteration, huh? We have Willow the wolf, we have Chase the corgi, the wild wolf, the cute corgi. As the two wander through the forest, they meet and we're gonna make them have puppies! <laughs> 
<laughs> so alright guys, I hope you are ready. It is a tale of romance during a camping trip and it will hopefully be a really fun result of our creature crossbreeding. I actually have no idea if in real life you could have a theoretical wolf corgi baby. Uh, please do not allow your corgis near wolves. Uh, please. Whatever you do, that's like my pixel biology PSA of the day. Like put appropriate safety gear on your corgi before swimming uh, and don't actually attempt to crossbreed any of your pets with wolves, please. <laughs> It will not work. Uh, but let's go ahead and say that in this theoretical story, it is a tale of romance in the forest. They meet with our adorable little Chase jumping and splashing through the creeks, his playful barking adventurousness catching Willow's eye, and, well, one thing leads to another, and let's go ahead and pull up six little puppies between the two. <gasps> I don't even know who you are, but you are adorable. Oh my gosh. This is not one of the puppies we can keep because it has an unknown parent, but we're gonna go ahead, create all six puppies, leave them as puppies, and then figure out what they grow up into. I'm really hoping we can actually maybe get a corgi with the wolf coloring or a wolf with the corgi coloring. And I don't know how those strong paws, and you guys may have actually noticed, just like real life wolves, the strong, huge paws on Willow here may look really adorable on like our little corgi body. Or we may get some of the distinctive corgi shape with wolf coloring. Uh, maybe something here, we'll take off the little safety outfit for just a second. There you go, Chase. You can show off that delightful ruffling mane that you have uh, and the beautiful blue eyes that he has. Oh, what do you guys think? What kind of mix between the two is gonna turn out really awesome? Let's see what happens. All right, Chase and Willow's first <gasps> puppy! That looks like a baby Chase to me. That looks like a little itty bitty baby Corgi. I have no idea if he'd be very good hunting in her, oh, her little wolf pack. But we'll go ahead and add her in. And then let's go ahead and get puppy. Oh, that's a really cool puppy. All right, and then we want puppy number <gasps> two. Oh boy, this is a totally, this is gonna be so much fun. That's totally different than the last dog that we got. So this is gonna be fun. And then the next baby, it's really cool. We might have to do, Willow might have a very open mind and she might have another litter with just random dogs because this is turning out pretty awesome too. Oh, oh my gosh, <laughs> they're so cute. I have no idea how these are gonna turn out, but here is another daughter with all black eyes, no less. What is this going to turn out as for our new little wolf pack, a wolf corgi pack? Oh my gosh. They're so different. Look at the sun. Every single one of them looks so different from one another at this point. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. So they had another daughter. And then we have one more coming on up. Oh my gosh, that's a beautiful dog. Oh, here we go. Okay, oh, we ended up with two all black ones. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, guys, so let's go through and we are going to name and give personalities to all of these pups. It is a little tricky to figure out, are they going to be big or small? Are they all gonna be like their dad? Or are some of them going to be a little bit like their mom? And with their dark fur and dark eyes, blend in perfectly to the shadows of the forest and become wild wolves themselves. All right, so let's go ahead and name them. This is a little girl who looks a lot like her dad. So I'm going to name her Cindy. There we go. I think she's probably gonna be more like a Corgi. So we'll give her a playful personality. Let's make her a little bit of a hunter. She really likes, oh, that was so cute. Do it again, Cindy, do it again. Oh, that's just the best. Oh my gosh. Cindy, Cindy, hang on. Yes, perfect. That's so cute. And then let's make Cindy. Oh, what do you guys think? I think we're gonna make her smart. She was kind of she's like the firstborn. She's playful. She's a little bit of a hunter. She's a good mix of the two. And I feel like this is our little boy or little girl. This is our little boy. Uh, and I guess we'll go with William. There we go. So we have Willow, Willow and William, and we'll see if my guess is on if they're gonna look more like a corgi or a wolf play out. I think this guy is actually pretty shy, like a little bit jumpy. Um, and I think that he is really a very curious wolf dog. 
but he is not very much of a hunter. Hmm. I think he's a little stubborn. Like he really likes to patrol territories and he's extremely cautious. So he'd be the one to notice that something was wrong before all the others. But we'll have to see how he turns out when he grows up. And then we have our very first all black wolf dog. What will she turn out to be? I feel like she is a very smart sleuth who's independent. Well, actually, I think she really goes around with her shadow. They're like shadow twins. <gasps> That's so cool. Yeah, I think they do go around as shadow twins and they're kind of adventurous, but only with each other. So we have, in fact, let's go ahead and name her maybe Shade and Shadow. So we're gonna go ahead and name this one Shadow and we're gonna name her brother because this one is a little boy. We're gonna name him Shade. And he is gonna pretty much have the same traits as his sister, because I just really feel like, let's see, smart and curious, right? Yeah, because I feel like they're kind of very, very like echoes of each other. So that's a really fun match. I've never really had two puppies in these crossbreeds before where I just felt so strongly that they were, they were meant to be together. And meanwhile, we have this little guy who kind of looks like a cow dropped off a calf. <laughs> I think he's gonna be super friendly. I think that he is a bit of a troublemaker without meaning to. No, don't do it. Oh, why? Okay, well, that happened. Uh, and I think he's very adventurous. So what are we gonna name him? Uh, I think Charles, because I think he's gonna, well, actually, I think he's actually gonna grow up and be a little bit more like their mom. So let's see, we already have little William. We have a Willow. We have Wonky, like Wonka. Huh, I'm, I'm gonna go name him Wonka after the Char Charlie of the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> I, I wish I had a more noble name for him, but I don't. And look at this corgi puppy with the beautiful wolf eyes. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go ahead and name her, um, we have Cindy. Let's name her Charm actually, because I think she's gonna be such a charmer. Very friendly. Uh, I think she's going to be kind of independent and very smart. All right, there we go, guys. On this romantic camping trip where the Corgi Chase has met Willow the Wolf, we have a new wolf pack. Now that we have gone through and the babies are born, they have their names, they have their personalities. Let's grow them up and see what they will become. So, Cindy, are you gonna be a big dog, small dog? Which parent will you take after? <gasps> she is a small dog. Oh my gosh, and her eye changed colors while she was growing up. What? She looks even more like a little wolf than I thought. I wonder if something happened to her high because of the hunter personality she has. Maybe she ended up getting in a fight of some kind. Oh my gosh, <laughs> she looks really cool. And then we have William, big dog, small dog, a wild wolf or a cute corgi. <gasps> William turned into a wolf, what? Oh wow, he looks like a really cool dog. He looks like the kind of dog that you would want to have beside you while you ran through the forest searching for different trails and all sorts of hidden secrets under the leaves. William, you're on my list for future potential pups to have in my legacy family for sure. And let's go ahead and grow up Shadow and Shade. Are they going to be big dog? Small dog? Is their coloring going to make them fierce hunters either way? Even if they turn out to be corgi sized, I could actually see them contributing quite excellently to the wolf pack by being able to hunt as a team together in the shadows. Oh, they turned out big! <laughs> what? This is not what I expected, but look, you can see the corgi outlines and fur with the giganticness of a wolf. Okay, those are little shadow babies who grew up into being a true beast. So that is Shadow, but what about her brother, Shade? Will he grow up to be just as big as his sister, or is he going to be the much smaller Shadow? Okay, yeah, he grew up to be just as big too. So Shade and Shadow, you can hardly even tell the difference between both of them, are truly powerful and majestic hunters who have uh, contributed to Willow's family tree quite well, if you ask me. Now let's see if little Wonka grows up to be big dog, small dog, or a cow. He kind of reminds me of a cute little cow. <laughs> He's so cute! Wonka, I didn't expect 
expect you to be so cute when you grow up. Oh my gosh. And I think he has really bad eyesight. Maybe he's a troublemaker just because he's always tripping over his own paws. But hopefully he will find a happy family home. I could definitely see him needing to go and maybe live with a little old man living in a cabin in the forest, providing plenty of mischievousness uh, and, and being able to like talk with his siblings when they come visit from the wolf pack. That's really cool. And finally, we have adorable little Charm, who does look like she is ready for a charming life being cooed over by all of the uh, the people who might come to the campground. Maybe she goes and charms some special like hot dogs and hamburgers from all of the camping guests and trots them back to the pack as her contribution. <laughs> or not! <laughs> She's actually huge! Oh my gosh, that's so funny! Only like one of the dogs that I thought was going to grow into a, a, a small dog actually did. And all of the others turned into these like mammoth creatures. So here is the answer, my friends. When you combine a wild wolf and a cute corgi, you end up with a amazingly diverse range of different dogs and quite the fun family tree. I actually really love all of their stories. I could probably dive into each of these animals' stories and just be quite happy with them now. But this was really fun! So Chase, thank you very much. You have left behind quite the interesting little wolf pack. And uh, I'm really in love with William, actually. I really didn't think that I would be so enchanted with him, but he truly feels like a wolf, I, or a wolf dog that I would want to have by my side in the forest. But alright guys, so which one of these are your favorite and what wild animal crossbreeding would you like to see in the future? Because this is only the beginning. Now that I have returned home, I have made up a wonderful list that covers everything from zebras to aardwolves, which are an insectivore eater, despite the name wolf in their name. <laughs> I have also got lions and tigers and bears, oh my, and so much more uh, that I just cannot wait to see in our crossbreeding efforts. So if you guys have some ideas, do please leave them in the comments below. But most importantly, guys, stay curious. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.